Welcome to the DNA Center Assurance and Automation Enablement Stage 1 Module on Business Discovery. In this module, you will learn to ask relevant business discovery questions that lead to a specific customer outcome or customer intent. You will also learn to identify ways to set the agenda based on key business priorities and to identify opportunities to map business intent to high-level general solution capabilities using the whiteboard. Your customers may be faced with one or several of these business issues. Here are a few questions you can ask as you probe to see which of these issues your customer is facing. Cloud readiness. How far are they in the cloud transition journey? What cloud applications have they adopted? And what are their cloud adoption challenges? Around network security, where do they believe they have the greatest security vulnerabilities? Do they have issues in setting security policies? What about traffic and stability? What are their concerns around network stability? Do they have the means to monitor traffic and predict outages? When customer, in customer engagement, how do they capture customer data and associated insights? What are the challenges in tracking customers as the business scales? How about wireless mobility and IoT? How do they manage IoT deployments and related cost? How do they protect their network from vulnerabilities caused by external sources? And finally, cost sensitivity. What are their bu budgeted projects for the year? Have they considered subscription models as a means to increase their own capabilities while reducing cost? In this section, we will dig a little deeper into each of these business outcomes so that you are armed with the right questions to pinpoint customer needs. In the area of cloud readiness, it's important to understand your customer's cloud strategy. You can certainly ask that question directly. However, what they consider a cloud strategy may use different vocabulary. It may be best to have a conversation around what applications they use to run the business, and if they're considering a private or public cloud application offering, or even a hybrid model. Once you understand that, you can dig into where they are in the journey. Are they facing migration challenges, and do they have sufficient visibility into all of the aspects of their network? Understand their branch strategy and determine if certain applications need priority to ensure performance. Has assigning a priority been an issue for them? It's also important to understand how security policies are created and enforced. Oftentimes, our customers look to us as trusted advisors. It's important to ask them directly if they've had specific challenges with network security. Expose pain points by asking how mobile devices are protected while away from a trusted network. How are they addressing security of sensors and other IoT devices? Have they been able to move from a reactive mode once a threat is identified into a proactive stance? And certainly ask what specific products and solutions are currently used to secure devices and the network. Next, ask about how security policies are enforced across all of their sites. Guest Wi-Fi has become a pervasive offering. How are they segmenting and securing the network from potential threats from guest users and devices? We have already discussed the expected influx of new devices over an AP's expected lifetime. It's time to expose some pain related to the saturation of network resources. What major challenges are they facing with respect to managing network traffic and stability? Have there been major network outages in their organization? How do they monitor overall network performance? Are they able to predict outages or identify them in real time? How do they monitor and distribute network traffic? How do they currently manage sudden traffic spikes and increases in network usage? What are the products and solutions do they, that they currently use for monitoring network activity and ensuring network stability? And what are the network traffic related policies and protocols in place for the wide area network? Cisco has a unique and powerful value proposition as it relates to our technology and the advantages from it. 
As we are all expected to do more with less, our customers are wanting to get more out of their Wi-Fi. Cisco has offerings that use wireless technology not just for connectivity, but to engage directly with their customers. It's this area that IT often becomes the hero. So ask, what are their initiatives to improve customer engagement? For example, improving in-store tools, offering customers new applications to provide value-added services, or something as simple as providing guest Wi-Fi. If they do have Wi-Fi for their guests, how do they use their in-store network to collect data and gain analytics-driven insights from customers whenever they access it? Have they deployed location-based customer engagement tools through mobile applications? As their business scales, how do they plan to engage at a personal level with a larger customer base? What products and solutions do they currently use to engage with customers? Some studies suggest that the number of IoT devices that typically don't have a screen or are used by a specific user will double by 2021. This is an important area of pain to expose. So ask them what is the business value generated by recent adoption of mobility and IoT use cases? Which technology partners have they leveraged for IoT? What is the level of adoption of IoT in the organization? What challenges are they facing with IoT implementation? And what steps are they taking to ensure that the network can affordably handle IoT traffic? How do they ensure security across various IoT and mobile devices and networks? And what products and solutions are they currently using and have deployed to protect their network from the vulnerabilities caused by IoT endpoints or guest mobile devices? There is rarely a customer that isn't worried about costs, and most of the time IT budgets don't grow at the same pace as, the new, de as new demands are put on their networks. Understand your customer's cost sensitivities. Do they think they are currently spending too much on network-related solutions? Which areas are, is, is IT spend maxed out? Are they aware of the various pricing models in the, in the market for network solutions? What factors help them choose a vendor? And how important are cost and brand in their decision making? And do they think investing in cloud, IoT support solutions, and advanced network security tools will help to reduce recurring costs in the long run? This concludes the business discovery module. Next, we will discuss buying triggers and business insights.